Welcome ladies and gentlemen. The video clip I'm just displaying on our screen is of the late Daniel Torotich Arab Moy's grandson arrested for failing to support his family. It is called the untouchable hair, if you recall. Who knew that Moy's family can now be arrested? No one knew. Who knew? And it's very sad. It's very sad and so shocking that the world we live today is full of challenges. Colin Skibet have been arrested because of failing to support his family. He was the grandson of the late President Daniel Torotich Arab Moy. First and foremost, we recognized what Moy did to this our country. He was our president and we give him respect and may his soul rest in peace. But let me just go through the story why this man has been arrested. He was reported to have been working with informants and police insiders to avoid arrest. Mr. Wangare previously told the court that police and private detectives were struggling to enforce an April 30 arrest warrant because of his evasive tactics. The warrant was issued by Principal Magistrate Kiprui Kibelion after he disobeyed someone to appear before the court. It's very sad. Then the top story on it. He had been arrested at Ongata Longai. Toratich Kibet, the grandson of the late President Moi, has been arrested after being a fugitive for several months. He had been arrested for failing to support his family. And here is the 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 the, the Moy's son. Malipo ni apa apa duniani. Though Moy was a dictator, we are not afraid to say it. Moy was a dictator. You know, sometimes leaders misbehave. And I think this, their misbehaviors hurts their grandchildren, hurts their family members, because they have failed to listen to the people. It is called, if you misbehave, you must receive your result in this world. The world is not big, the world is small. It is very cold in face. Today I'm powerful. Today my families, my grandchildren are not touchable. They are not untouchable, I mean. Tomorrow they will be touchable. That is life. That is life. It's very sad that the grandson of the former president, Daniel Toratich Arap Moy, have been arrested because of failing to support his family. So it means that Moy's family are now becoming bankrupt. Who knew? Who knew? In our yesterday's video analysis, I told you 
that if one day it happens, I become the president in the Republic of Kenya. I could only have that desire to save my salary and not have a desire to loot, to steal, to grab people's wealth for no reason. Because all is vanity. All is vanity. Some of you might say, I might talk this way because I have not gotten that chance. We have several leaders who are saving their money. They don't have money to loot. They don't have time to loot. We have some of them. The MPs, the governors, but not the governors. I don't trust the governors. But the MPs and even the MCS. Or even the Senate. Or even the HR and the MD. And so on. Regardless on the leadership position you are. Whether you are the manager, whether you are a chief assistant, whether you are chef, whether you are this, you have that time to save. Rather than stealing money, the money stolen cannot help human being. The money taken with the bribe, blood, shed cannot help. You kill someone because you are in power, he have exposed you that you wanted to steal, for instance, the incident which happened at the treasury. I am still feeling up to date to the family members. Just killing the innocent one because you have exposed such amount of money is getting lost by some of the goons in the government thinking that they will one day begged in the street, not thinking that they will one day become bankrupt, not thinking that everything we do in this world is vanity. The world is small in the sight of God. It is, it is big in your sight when you are power. Indeed, it's become bigger if you kill. It's become bigger if you protect your family, giving them GSU, giving them airplane, giving them vulnerable life, luxurious life. Today, Moise's grandson have been arrested. This is a lesson we ought to learn. Moi was called Mtukufu. Moi was called with several names. And he dictates several Kenyans. <laughs> he ruled the country for 24 good years. All remains vanity. Today, the family of the late president cannot support themselves. I know that I am happy on seeing that not really. It is because this should be a lesson we ought to learn in this life. But because Moe misbehaved and he never thought of even that in future whatever I do while in power will haunt my grandchildren, will haunt my family. He never learned that that is why I keep on even advising the sitting president to learn. He should stop police abduction. He should stop this arrest which is happening in this our country. People are being killed like chicken. And learn to be humble. The other day I heard him saying that he wants to be a bishop if he feel if he finish his politics. For him to repent, which is good. If you have thought of that, well and fine. But stay humble. Stay humble and learn to respect 
each other. We have so we've seen several things happening in this world. People like Masegeli being summoned by the by the judges. They are above the law. They can't they can't appear before the court because they are the ones arresting people. Someone is threatening someone's life because he's in the government. Today is powerful. Tomorrow we will be toothless. That is life. That is life. That those people who uh, who did best, their families are not suffering. Their families are not being emulated. And they were leaders. Whether they were president or bishop or judges or lawyers or police officers. But they left a positive legacy. And we can't test further. But my heart desire to say the late John Pombe Magufuli. He was the best. May his soul rest in peace. Even though he was a straightforward man. But the world today can recognize him on what he did. And that is why we say that if you want to know a true measure of a man, give him power and money, you will know who he is. Moi was given power and money. Today, the grandchildren are suffering. Today, the family are not stable as we were expecting. Today, the untouchable family being arrested. The world is full of drama. <laughs> Arrest my case at this point. Thank you, and let's meet on another political discussion. Bye-bye.